well, the, the course is called Fast Track to Animating in After Effects. Now, a quick tour to our Google Classroom. I have added the link in our chat group. Show and tell. We shall be demonstrating the skill and share with you how it's done. Practice what you learn. The best way to remember is to apply what you've learned right away. So let me explain why this is a big deal. Okay, the fact that you can change. Ask and reflect. We engage you in Q&As and ask you for feedback. So we're gonna cover sheet tools, a couple of tools. So go ahead, look for invert tool. Also, your perception of color changes when you have a darker background. The reason why is because you're looking at the essentials of screen right here. Um, so let me... Oh, here. Yeah. Right, so choose advanced. Hi, welcome to PCCI Anywhere. Let's begin learning. Okay, good evening everyone. Welcome to PCCI's YouTube Live uh, free webinar. Okay, and we'll start in a few minutes. And um, in the meantime, please go ahead and subscribe to PCCI's YouTube channel. And if you know anybody who is into graphic design, for me, kahit ano, no? basta into books, no? uh, please go ahead and share this video with them and then invite them to uh, watch this uh, webinar uh, with you. It's free and then you can access this also anytime now via YouTube. Also, please uh, remember that you can type in your questions in the comment section. Tapos at the end of the webinar, we'll have our uh, dear speaker address them later on. All right. And then let us know in the comment section where you are joining us from okay so right now we have uh some people joining us already and say uh saying good evening no okay good evening to everyone shout, shout out tayo, uh, in a bit okay so by the way pci has made uh, learning digital arts more convenient for you through uh, our live virtual classes so for the rest of this quarter we have the following classes we have digital uh, camera fundamentals okay um we have basic photography uh, from march 8 to 12. we also have line 101 okay and then Sa mga interested sa product photography, we have introduction to product photography uh, as well as 360 degree photography. Um, we'll, we also have, you now for our graphic designers, we have digital imaging and color management fundamentals, uh, Adobe Photoshop Essentials, and of course, uh, Adobe Lightroom, uh, Adobe Photoshop Retouching, uh, non-destructive editing. Okay, so for more information, please remember to visit www.pci.edu.ph or visit our Facebook page to get updates. By the way, my name is Dale Derry and I'm one of the instructors for photography here at PCCI. Okay, let's say uh, hello first to our dear viewers. So hi, Carmela. I think ito yung first comment, no? Commenter. Okay. And we have Gina, Michelle Dagandan. Good evening sa inyo. Um, we have Zaira Rabanillo. Okay. Uh, let us know naman saan pa kayo nakikinig, no? Where are you joining us from? Okay. Hello to Tiffany Rodriguez. Good evening to you. Um, uh, Gina Rousset, I'm joining from Lourdes, France. Wow! Je m'appelle Dale. Yun lang alam ko. Tsaka, un cafe. <laughs> okay. Um, Jesusa Imperio, watching from Ilocos Sur. Wow, bigla naman naisip ko yung bagnet, syempre, tsaka yung, uh, yung dinakdakan. 
Okay. Quince, Sikatuna Village, Quezon City. Okay. Will we get a certificate for this? Um, for webinars, since it's it's free for everyone, what you take away is a lot, a whole lot of knowledge. No? Um, when you join our live virtual classes, then you will uh, receive, especially for Adobe uh, products, no? Adobe programs, yung mga Photoshop, Lightroom, then you get a certificate from PCCI and from Adobe. Michelle Dagandan watching from San Pedro, Laguna while doing some homework. Okay, I hope this will be a very uh, creative break for you. No? Uh, Mabuhay, Alan Luis Dison joining from San Francisco, California. Wow, and um, Sir Ige, grabe. <laughs> Akila, okay, joining uh, good vibes from Malaysia, si Akila Khalil. Geraldine. Hello to you. Okay, watching from Kalashao, Pangasinan, si Carmela Gallardo. Brother Bart TV, hello. Watching from Los Angeles City, Pampanga, Long, Los Angeles City. Okay. Ang uh, cute, no? no? And from Naga, Bicol. Okay. Ako'y Bicolana din, no? Sorso ko naman. Si Angel uh, Nate. Okay. Merci too. If, okay. Hindi ako masyado magaling sa French. Fre okay. French, like, French was si Gina Reset. Oh, okay. Yeah, Nakakatuwa oh, yung yeah. French eh. Oo, oh, oh, no? Um, Syra also is from Pangasinan. From, meron tayo si Carl from Manila. Geraldine from Negros pa. Wow. Talaga naman all around the world. And Gina says hi, Sir Ige. Also, Gerardo, Lavinia. Okay. So, for uh, tonight, no, this is uh, our topic for tonight is design a book cover. So, it's a webinar. And I think that this topic is not only for graphic designers, but also for, I think, for writers, kahit nga book lovers, no. So, uh, I'm sure. Malaki yung role ng book design. And our speaker for tonight is, of course, Sir Ige, who is a book designer. He's also a food writer, a visual artist, and a publisher. Uh, he runs the Ige Ramos Design Studio, Republic of Taste Food Network, which is a platform for his design, publishing, and independent research project in gastronomy. Okay, nako. Uh, he is a founding faculty member of the Philippine Center for Creative Imaging, and he has been teaching publication design since 2001, which he inherited from Mr. Frankie Patriarca, who was actually my professor in college, no, sa photography. Guys, I'm very proud to present to you Mr. Ige Ramos. Yay! Okay. Wala Hello. I'm sure everyone's applauding. Okay, Sir Ige, design a book uh, cover. Sino-sino nga bang magbe-benefit dito? Am I correct in saying na hindi lang graphic designers? Sorry ha, nagkakaroon ng feedback. Oh, okay, okay. I think uh, if you're watching it from from YouTube, uh, you have to... Uh, Mute one device. Uh, yeah, or mute I, one I muted it. Now. All right. Sorry. So, <laughs> it's okay. Who who else, apart from graphic designers, would benefit from this um, topic, from this webinar? Well, basically, um, uh, marketing people, those who work in publishing, those who work mm -hmm. in uh, in selling books. And yeah. um, um, di ba ngayon, usong-usi yung, ano, yung, yung uh, content development sa web. True. So, yes. So what is one of one of the most uh, exciting thing now during the pandemic? I'm not saying that the pandemic is good, no. But um, one of the most exciting that happened during this pandemic is the uh, people are now exchanging books, like printed books. Um, the sale of books have increased by by more than twelve percent, according to wow. Amazon print books. Wow, um, and then you have now uh, content developers on 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 Facebook or Instagram where they sell pre-loved books. Yes, and and uh, you know it's very important. Let's say if like let's say if you're trying to sell a book, it's very mm -hmm. important to have a, a sense of curatorship, wherein you curate the content. Yeah, because. Uh, it's important how you present things online. Mm -hmm. 
unlike unlike before, di ba? Like you have to go to a bookshop or you have to go to the mall. Yes. But now, uh, since everything is in your fingertips, in your phone, mm-hmm. swipe right, swipe left, di ba? <laughs> and uh, you you actually see how how people, uh, let's say, uh, sell books mm-hmm. and eventually you judge now you judge the book by its cover yeah diba? absolutely so, yeah true true so so now like book book design or book public uh, or or publishing is uh, mm-hmm. uh we're we're on the threshold now of a major change it's mm-hmm. like being you know like parang being uh like during world war ii mm-hmm. like after world war ii it's rebuilding but yeah. now what do we have to rebuild we have to rebuild our um um not not physical infrastructure mm. but how we curate things and sell books yeah yeah in so, fact and daming yeah. yung um mga facebook groups who are dedicated into exchanging books no exchanging books and selling books in yes. fact like i'm a member of a filipino book uh, filipiniana book sellers club Mm-hmm. Uh, if there's so, certain books that I want to to buy or parang, you know, you, you, you see the cover and then, oh, this is the book that was published in 1975. Yeah. Now, wow. Now I cannot afford, but now, you know, like, you know, um, uh, it's a good price and yung mga ganon, like Filipiniana, yeah. even, even you know, like, like, for instance, cookbooks. In yeah. fact, like, uh, like this, this pandemic actually mm-hmm the the you know the expenses that i incurred just from buying books from amazon yeah. wow. was uh talagang I'm, i mean i have to wait for like three weeks before the books can de- be delivered but you know i spent like thousands this, wow. this year i mean in 2020 yeah uh, the this amount really, of yeah this is very exciting i get uh meron dito nagsabi well his username is Tere Dant 88 sabi niya Hemingway ang peg ni Ige with smiley face. <laughs> okay. Sige, I think everyone's very uh, excited already. So, I leave the floor to you, uh, Sir Ige, and uh, yeah. enjoy everyone. If you have questions, please write them in the comment section. Okay. Enjoy. Okay. See you. Okay, good evening everybody. Uh, uh, my name is uh uh may tumatawag <laughs> okay um good evening everybody i'm uh, um okay so book design doesn't happen in a vacuum no so um so before it happens the designer has to read uh, the manuscript if not the client or the publisher provides the designer a creative brief where the non-negotiables are clearly stated. So, ano yung mga non-negotiables, no? So, the non-negotiables are 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 uh, basically the color scheme, the typeface, the logo, uh, uh, the images, the photography, or the illustration. Normally, I would work with the author or the publishers, um, or the the publisher or the author. And and most of the time, I also work with illustrators and uh, photographers, and uh, and there's no and then you know in the Philippines, no, uh, especially in the in the late eighties or in the early nineties, uh, there's no uh, parang people don't really give uh, give you uh, a design brief, but. Uh, somehow, um, uh, over over the years, uh, uh, you know, publishers and clients now are learning to 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 uh, to create a design brief. Like like for instance, um, ito yung mga elements that that needs to be in the book. But most of the time, I'm not a uh, uh, I'm I'm doing uh, the design brief myself, and then. Uh, uh, present it to the client and then of course um, and then sometimes uh, the, the client or the publisher just like leave me in my own devices and then come up with something then eventually experiment and uh, 
and come up with uh, the designs until it sees print. So um, these, uh, what you see on the screen now are uh, a selection of the books, uh, some of the books I designed over uh, the course of 27 years, actually I've been designing for the last 20, I mean book design per se is 27 years now. So see again, next slide. So uh, for the best part, before you design a book, of course, like you have to read the manuscript, you have to understand what the book is all about. You have to know the target audience or the target readership. You have to talk to the author, uh, what kind of uh, uh, the message that the author wants to, to deliver to his readers. And of course, like you have to translate all these abstract ideas into a more concrete one by, by, by breathing life into it. But you have to understand that <coughs> it's, um, um, it's very important to see, uh, to, to understand first the anatomy of a book cover design. So what you see here is basically, you know, uh, a, a flat lay of a, a book cover. So on the right hand side, this is actually the front cover. And then you have the spine, and then you have the back cover. So that's how you tell a story, you know, when you when you uh, when you design the book, okay? When you design a book, okay. Next, please. Okay, this is like one of the uh, books that I did for uh, uh, a company. Uh, it's an organization called. Uh, the American Chamber of Commerce in the Philippines, and they were celebrating a century of Philippine-U.S. relations in terms of business. So I will show you the different parts of the uh, how the element is worked on this project. So um, it's very important, kasi, like when you design a book, uh, I will borrow a term from the culinary world, like what the chefs are used, uh, using. No? It's called Miss and plus, it means everything in place. So uh, in this book, you have three basic elements. Um, can you go to the ne next slide, please? So the basic elements, okay, we have to de uh, deconstruct the book. No? So first you have the text element, which is the spanning the decades, uh, uh, 1902 to 2002. So this is uh, done, using uh, Illustrator. And then you have a vector image, a composite image of the American flag and the Filipino sun. And then you have the archive, uh, an archival photograph of um, Manila, which is uh, basically this is Escolta in the turn of the century. And then so we put it together and then next slide, voila. So this is like your book cover design. So it looks easy now because you know I was able to deconstruct the book, but actually there's so much thing going on and I will explain to you later in the succeeding slides. So what you see now here is uh, <coughs> um, like uh, the, the typeface, the font, and then of course like uh, Escolta, and then you have the, the two flaps uh, um, containing about the book and the contributors on each side. No? So the book size is nine by 12, but it's folded. Um, uh, so you see the spine. So, um, so you really have to have a physical model, let's say for instance, a big piece of paper to really understand the pattern on how you will approach the design of the book. It's not an arbitrary positioning of the text or arbitrary, um, uh, you know, um, positioning of the various element, but rather uh, it's very important to understand how our eyes move, no, in 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 such direction. Okay, next slide, please. Okay, over the years, um, um, my um, my book design and um, 
publishing career actually started with my uh, with my collaboration with my uh, my good friend and and uh, writer Jessica Zafra. So out of her nine twisted books, twisted series books, I designed three of them. And uh, in this particular book, uh, Twisted Eight, can you blow it up, please, like full screen, so I can see it properly? Okay, so so uh, you see the element, no? Yung parang uh, infinity eight, no? So uh, since um, we we have this uh, publishing house, like me and Jessica established um, uh, as our business that time, no? And it's called Zeus Books. And uh, and and Shampre, we're we're un, uh, under budget, so the book is actually in black and white, so one color printing. But we really have to to uh, to make sure that the cover has an impact. So so by using elements, so twisted eight, so it looks like the infinity eight, and then you have this like really modern. Uh, you know, during that time. Uh, when we produced this book, um, you know the the musical form during that time was a lot. You 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 mga lounge music like um, sinitong grupong to. Uh, it it uh, <laughs> I forgot na. But uh, there's a lot of uh, um, like uh, music involved when it when it comes to uh, uh, choosing the typeface, no. Uh, you know, Groove Armada. No? So there's a group called Groove, Groove Armada. And this is like the type of, uh, of uh, audience that we are uh, uh, addressing the book to. The, uh, the audience who would listen to, to, uh, to alternative, to elect uh, electronic music, like, uh, like Groove Armada or uh, Bell and Sebastian. So, so talagang meron siyang particular target audience. Uh, audience in mind or target readership in mind okay next okay so the next one is another uh, collaboration which i did with jessica so jessica came up with a magazine before and it's called flip reader and um i i um uh, jessica is also responsible for my uh career in in writing because um uh, she actually encouraged me to write uh, to her magazine, and then I, 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 I had a, a column, a regular column in her magazine called Ukay Ukay. But um, after uh, Flip Magazine closed, uh, uh, she collected all the travel essays. Um, it's called the the Flip Reader, and it's very interesting because, parang okay, what do we want to show um, in this book? So. Of course, like uh, it's obvious that it's a travel, uh, it's a travel uh, book by showing a uh, uh, a baggage tag with a barcode. In fact, yung back version, yung back part ng book na yan, nandun yung barcode ng book, no? So it's part of the design. And then, of course, like you have the saconite, the bags uh, lovingly used by Balik Bayans, and then you have that uh, the uh, like airline tag. Uh, where I put the, uh, the the flip reader, and then there's a duct tape. So there's the uh, the, the the name of the editor and the foreword. No? So it was like printed on duct tape. So this is a, like one of the you know like uh, fun things to do. You know when you're designing a book, so you don't just like design because you need something, but it has to tell a story. What the book is all about. So. It's obvious that it's about the Filipino diaspora living overseas, the Balik Bayan, and then uh, Filipino rights uh, uh, writers uh, who write in English, and then at the same time you don't lose that particular identity. In fact, in fact, um, I want to celebrate all these, uh, parang not exactly kabaduyan, but this is like, um, like you know, like when we see, you know. Uh, bags and bags of 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 saconite coming, you know, in the carousel. Parang what do you see, di ba? Parang there's always a promise of like there's there's chocolate inside, there's Toblerone, there's there's uh, Adidas and you know sneakers and uh, a lot of things like lots of nice stories about the Filipino diaspora. Okay, next. 
Okay, this is very interesting, you know. Parang, um, uh, um, if you remember, like, the five people you meet in heaven, Jessica came up with the 500 people you meet in hell. So um, so I did a, a digital collage. This, this is my, the period where I do a lot of, like, collage work and, and you know, stuff. And I used the 500 peso bill and the 500 peso figure from the 500 peso bill as a rebus, uh, as a text, no? And then you have all these like images. But of course, during that time, the um, 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 the publisher said, major racist yun dating kasi nga I used uh, Shanghai beauties. Kasi nga one of the, the things that in, um, in, in the book uh, is about like uh, people who use uh, uh, skin whitening cream. So, um, so we changed the cover. So this, this particular cover on top didn't see print, but the, the printed version was the one on the bottom, the one that was approved. And uh, this is a, an isolated uh, illustration, an isolated element illustration from Dante's Inferno. So meron pa rin, uh, parang literary allusion. Uh, using uh, illustration from 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 Western literature, <laughs> so Dante's Inferno, yung uh, ano niya, no? uh, <coughs> yung peg, as they say. Okay, next. And then um, again, no, uh, when 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 I do cover design, um, I do I not I, I I really experiment with 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 so many things, no? so. So medyo siguro li litan mo lang ng konti yung ano yung blow up. Yan para makita yung buo. So this is like the very the, the very first Manila envelope uh, published by David Guerrero. And um, and uh, it's about um uh, parang dispatches from the end of the world, no? So so you have the uh, the contents in alphabetical order from from uh, Apocalypse Now to Jessica Safra and then these are uh, the, the thumbnail uh, illustrations on the side, six of them, are the different studies I made. Because uh, Manila envelope is known all over the world, so you use that particular texture to, to, uh, to show what Manila envelope is all about. So I did a lot of uh, collage using ephemera, like stamps, uh, tickets, tobacco labels, uh, comics clippings, uh, butong pakwan label to, to show like, you know, like how, you know, and then borrowed or steal from, from other designers like that Manila. I think that's from Nick Risho, no? So these are just studies, but it never saw print. But this one, the, the one with the, uh, the girl selling tinapa was the final, um, the final cover. The next piece. Oh, and then um, my collaboration with Jessica continued with, uh, as, as we get older, we know uh, people who are older and, and in the business. So, so uh, we collaborated with uh, the different business books, no? So, uh, so we have um, winning management lesson outside the classroom. Uh, this is uh, the group of um, uh, Management Association of the Philippines. And then uh, Taking Aim, this is uh, um, the book of uh, like uh, AIM, AIM graduates. And then Driven, How to Make It in the Philippines in Philippine, uh, Philipp uh, How to Make It in the Philippine Business. So these are like, like uh, you know, business books. And then I was thinking, Business book shouldn't be boring. It should be fun and colorful, and it has, it has pastel shades, no? So you know, so I make a lot of effort to to look at what you know, like let let's say, for instance, what how they publish books in in uh, in the U.S. Let's say, for instance, um, uh, how they how they present business books in Harvard or 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 other. Uh, um, you know, like uh, Wall Street companies. So you know, so we have our own uh, needs and 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 versions. So so this is how I sort of like do it. 
Okay, next. Uh, one of the series of books I did was the um, the great men of uh, the great men and women of Asia, uh, which was uh, published uh, by Anvil and and the Ramon Magsaysay Foundation. So these are the biographical stories of of the Ramon Magsaysay awardees, no, over over the years. <coughs> so so my suggestion was uh, because. Uh, the awardees were divided uh, by, you know, especially coming from, let's say, from the uh, 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 from the various ge geographical locations, let's say, for instance, India or Southeast Asia. So that's how we did it. So, so I did uh, several studies and several uh, treatment on how the book can be perceived as a uh, if you buy one just one copy it's just a stand alone book like a one uh, a stand alone book or it can be a series so there's a lot of uh, repetition in core in terms of spatial relationships the use of fonts um, the use of grid but uh, the the thing that change or or, or as what I mentioned earlier, the non-negotiables, let's say for it, the non-negotiables, uh, for instance, the logo of the Ramon Magsaysay Award, which is situated at the back cover. And you show, I uh, basically show, you know, like different colors and different color schemes so that one book uh, is differentiated from each other. And at the same time, a book can stand alone and at the, and and uh, at the same time, the book can be uh, bought as a series, like a set. Okay. Next, please. Um, here I used. Um, I'm actually. Uh, this is okay. This is um. Uh, the books uh, that I designed for uh, John Silva, it's called A Token of Our Friendship, and then Tapestry by Rosalinda Rosa, and then um, In Search of Miguel Hernandez. This is a, a, a book commission, a book design commission to me by the by Instituto Cervantes. And as you can see, I use uh, muted tones, colors to, to, uh, to show uh, nostalgia, or the past, no? so so basically, uh, and then you you have this uh, you know old style uh, handwritten, um, almost calligraphic uh, typeface, and uh, and then the the Tampinko picture frame is actually uh, it adds uh, some nostalgia to to the photo that that you see, no. Tapos yung tapestry naman. Uh, uh, the artwork was done by uh, the the granddaughter of uh, or the niece of Maria uh, of of Rosalinda Rosa, uh, showing uh, how these two two cop this couple uh, giving uh, parang uh, because the Rosa family is so so they're all like overachievers. So <laughs> this is the story of their their family, you no. Know? And then see si, si Miguel Hernandez naman is a, a famous uh, poet, writer, uh, political, political dissident during the time of Franco. Okay, so next. Okay, so and then um, uh, last year I was able to do, uh, to finish two books um, during the height of the pandemic. And uh, one of which is uh, uh, Ito yung uh, Talambuhay ng Supremo, Andres Bonifacio, sa Cavite. So this is the, uh, the, the handwritten account of Aguinaldo uh, when, when, when Bonifacio went to Cavite. No? So um, um, I don't want to be controversial, but uh, uh, I just, uh, please don't shoot the, <laughs> the messenger. I just designed the book. And uh, it's a it's a very very interesting uh, account actually uh, of of the uh, of of uh, parang it's it's like a personal parang essay of 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 uh, 
Emilio Aguinaldo. And then what we did was uh, we scanned the actual handwritten uh, uh, manuscript, and and beside it is a transcription. No? And then beside it, naman is um, Myong. Uh, it's uh, published by the Cavite Historical Society. It's actually out now. And uh, th this is the story, naman, of uh, Emilio Aguinaldo from his birth to the Declaration of Philippine Independence. So you know, I mean. Um, Using you know uh, the pat the Filipino patriotic colors like uh uh flag uh parang di ba medyo gas gas na yung ano no uh, yung paggamit nung uh, Filipino flag it it's used in in our sports uniform or or uh you know in, in so many ways no so how do you then uh use these elements without you know um. Uh, Without being, you know, uh, cliched, you know, parang uh, without uh, without parang uh, me, yung parang, di ba parang cliche na cliche na yung ano, no? parang gas gas na in other words. But but I, I, what I'm showing here, uh, I I you I have that particular uh, yes, Gina, I'll bring I'll I'll, uh, I'll send you that book in France, pag ano, pag uh, when it's okay. And then, um, so I use a lot of texture and, and uh, textured paper and colors. And then, of course, like with the man magic of digital art, you can almost do anything now. Okay, next. Okay, uh, now this is like a... Uh, uh, Textiles, no. Uh, this is a uh, kasuotan uh, and baro. No, uh, these are the two books I did for the. Uh, uh, one is for the uh, I think the uh, uh, Congressional Spouses Foundation, and then this is the uh, women uh, uh, women legislators of the of of the Philippines. No, so kasuotan. This is a. Uh, Another uh, book that um, I did, like about, I think this was about two years ago, and um, um, we were very lucky because we were able to get Patis Tesoro to um, to write the foreword for this book. So I asked Patis if we could photograph some of her works and some of her textiles, and then incorporate it in the book design. So what you see underneath is uh, uh, um, parang, uh, it's an actual textile uh, montage or collage. And, uh, and then, of course, like uh, yung, yung word na kasuotan, um, we sort of like overlay the textile and then and with the text no? using uh, Illustrator. So nagkaroon ng knockout yung, ano, yung, yung, yung design. No? And use it as the main uh, uh, title, no. And then for Baru, naman, again, no, we we use the uh, textile, we blow it up, and then uh, and then chose uh, a font that signifies, uh, parang parang sinulid, no. Yung yung Baro, uh, we played around with the with the letter B and and make it like a like a loop, no, like an embroidery loop, no. So there's so many things that you can actually do with 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 book design by not just like putting like straight text to the book, but but actually imagining things how the book would would parang parang uh, if you look at the book cover, you already know or or feel uh, what what's it all about, no? So you're 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 basically. Uh, Imagining already uh, how it will read, like uh, where, where the, uh, will the uh, will there be photographs, and 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 how the the text would read. No? Okay, next. Okay, uh, sorry, get hello. Wow, yeah. I'm really enjoying your uh, your webinar, and I I'm enjoying visually, and also 
I'm very much stimulated intellectually. No? Also, uh, I just want to uh, highlight here yung mga uh, nag-hello sayo. Oh, I think sige. they really miss you very much. Foodie Thoughts uh, says, best boss ever. So oh, much okay. to learn. Wow. Um, and then we have Cyrene Lubigan. Sabi niya, good evening, Sir Igit. Uh, watching from San Pablo, uh, Laguna. And then we yeah. also have Mary Ann Moll. Yes, uh, yeah. yeah. She's my niya. student, PCCI ano yan, alumni. Oh, hello. Okay, so hello, Marianne. And then, sabi ni Teacher Katz, Chris Ostoma, I love the Manila envelope. On one of your book ano, designs, mm. no? I think the inspiration was Manila envelope. And then, uh, I don't know how to pronounce this name, uh, Sonji Elenzano. He says, uh, good evening. Also, Raquel Ariola. Okay. Uh, she's asking, will there be a replay for this live? Wow. Mukhang gusto niya talaga ma ma-absorb pa yung this, webinar. Uh, in YouTube, di ba? So, yes. you can watch it. Correct. You can watch this uh, anytime, no? Um, and then, yeah, Gina Rousset. Is that how you say her last name? Yeah, Rousset. She said, yeah. I want to have that book. Again, sabi niya. All right. And okay, so let's uh, we can continue again. If you yeah. have any questions, please, please, please uh, just place them in the comment section. Okay, all right, so let's continue on with your uh, presentation. Oh, hang on, hold on, okay, and okay, let me just, yeah, there we go. all right, okay, take it away, teacher. I get. So this is a um, um, a book uh, by Barge Ramos, no, um, no relation, but he's a good friend. Uh, Pinoy dressing. Uh, this is based on his um, uh, Malaya uh, articles on Malaya newspaper, and then uh, it's put together uh, by uh, by Barge. And and you see this pattern, parang parang uh, multiple colored. Um, multiple colored patterns and then you have the the illustrations of uh, Loreto and then of course like you have to show uh, height and scale so medyo, uh, we have to to uh, to fill the 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 whole space with Loreto's illustration to show you know, uh, height and then um, like that, uh, that ethnic Filipino pattern is also uh, showing through the, showing through the to the dress. No, so this is really the style of Barj Ramos. No, so very intellectual yung approach niya when it comes to, to uh, designing no barong. So, so uh, I'm I'm a very lucky person that uh, you know I I bought you know uh, parang a barong for him kasi nga parang it's a very good investment to invest like on a Filipino designer. Because he invested on me, so I invested on him also. <laughs> okay, next. And then these are like two uh, books. Uh, but the, re the reason why they're together is because uh, I've known both uh, uh, Victorias and Sandra Castro in Intramuro. So uh, Shadat Murada is like a, a, a guidebook uh, written by uh, um, Historian par excellence, Jose Victor Torres. And this is our first collaboration together. Um, so you have that old map of Intramuros and then uh, and then showing the garita and the parang the green shadow overcast uh, parang overlay on 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 the on the map. No? So you can actually see the the wall and the, the the sentry guard sentry, which they call Garita. Tapos ito namang uh, uh, book ni Sandra Castro. Uh, I did uh, I designed her first book years ago, like in the late eighties. Um, this is the the uh, 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 she specializes on Philippine textiles, no. And um, it's called Nipis, and then for the for Intramuros administration for IA, and then uh, years later she's now based in America. Uh, Sandra Castro wrote the man a book on textile in the Philippines, colonial landscape, 
a lexicon and historical survey. So what we used here uh, as design element are the actual archival images from um, from the um, um, textile swatches, no, to show that it's really uh, you know you you parang weaving tradition uh, was really or 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 textile tradition and the textile industry was really big. Um, um, in the 18th and the 19th centuries. No? So there, okay, next. And then uh, there's a series of books I did for Nina Yuson. Uh, these are the covers for her parang um, uh, uh, travel sketches. No, uh, This is just like um, uh, four of the six or seven I made for her. So Nina Yuson is the uh, the director of the Museo Pambata, and they use this as a uh, parang a fundraising uh, material for her for the museum no? for for Museo Pambata. Okay, next. Then this is very interesting, no? See si Angie Oreta and uh, and uh, my God, see si, see si, uh, Angie Oreta. And Susan de Guzman, uh, friends of mine, uh, they they work as producers for Lisa Makuha in her program, and then they approach me to make a a, a coffee table book for uh, Lisa Makuha's uh, I think twenty fifth anniversary as a ballerina. So um, so I collaborated with uh, Jeannie Arambulo. She's a photographer. And uh, these are already existing photographs. So what uh, what I did was like choose a particular color scheme. So you get pink, pink na kung pink, and uh, it's uh, actually based on the the color of the tutu. And then you have that uh, flowing ribbon uh, produced using uh, these are like vector ribbons. Uh, uh, <coughs> um, ribbons uh, produced using uh, Adobe Illustrator, no, and then it was like placed on on. Uh, uh, I think this was like the early, you know, major major complicated yung ano, major complicated yung 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 paggawa nung ano nung uh, nung, nung design technically, but uh, we were able to uh, to come up with with a, a design solution like yung uh, uh, yung yung pag landing ni Lisa Makuha, no? sa kanyang isang this it's a cover no, in Grand Jete, so it's really really grand and then um and then you you can actually see the the translucence and the 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 you know like how 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 the ribbon flows from the front of the, the book to the back so so since this is a dance uh since this is a dance uh book no it has to show a lot of movement and then otherwise, because in this video, I did broto, no? so it's a very static medium. So I really have to show uh, a semblance of movement and and business. No? Okay, next. And then again, no? so um, uh, this is a, a golden harvest book uh, I did for Siarka. I think this is not the final, but one of the studies. No, so it's the fiftieth anniversary, and I wanted to show. Um, parang movement also, yung slices of time. So from the back cover to the front cover. So you can actually see people, parang this is in Vietnam and harvesting rice, no? So you, 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 you see all these like panels and different panels. And then at the same time, you have that, uh, that, that golden wreath, no? Parang it's like a, Parang laurel, uh, laurel leaf, no, uh, like a wreath, and and uh, and I wanted to show some uh, Southeast Asian elements on on uh, uh, very faint, no, yung, yung, yung cloud formation, and these are like the different periods of time. So, so unfortunately, this not this was not the final cover, but uh, it's more of a, an experimentation. Okay, next. Okay, these two books are one of the first two, uh, uh, two projects I did for Ayala Foundation and Ayala Museum, and these are made uh, separately by two brothers. No, 
So simbahan, uh, church art and colonial, in art in colonial Philippines by Regalado Jose, no? uh, Regalado Trotto Jose. I think I designed this in 1991. Even um, this is computer free. Um, there's no, uh, it's all like bromide and negatives and, 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 and uh, wala pang ano, no? uh, wala pang uh, software, no, no. Tapos tung, itong Japanese occupation of the Philippines, like pictorial history, it's by Ricardo Trotta Jose, no? brother naman ni, ni Ricky. And this is like one of the, the early, one of the, the, the first, I think I used uh, InDesign 1 for this particular, you know, uh, uh, cover and to lay out the whole book. No? So you see the difference, no? So, so with, with the Japanese occupation of the Philippines, this is actually the train station in, in if I'm not mistaken, in Legaspi, Albino. So you can actually see um, uh, Mount Mayon. So parang when you say when you see it, parang Japanese when sh when you see the title Japanese occupation of the Philippines, parang Mount Mayon parang naging mukha Mount Fuji, kasi merong Filipino uh, may Japanese flag. And then I used uh, an old uh, Japanese uh, like a typewriter font, no, to to show to show the design. No? So it's a very interesting uh, uh, things that you, you can do even in the early uh, in the early part of, 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 of you know when, when um, uh, technology is not that yet developed like what we have now uh, like, like using Adobe uh, Adobe products no? like the Adobe uh, CC or in Creative Cloud what we use now. Okay, next. Okay, this is very interesting. Um, these are studies for the book I also did for Ayala Museum and Ayala Foundation. It's called The Gold of Ancestor. This is basically a catalog slash coffee table book uh, to accompany the exhibit of the gold uh, of the the gold of ancestors uh, exhibit at the Ayala Museum. So it's obvious that. I was just given the photographs and the title and just played around with it without reading the text, without having uh, a design brief. Uh, and uh, what, what I did here was, was basically uh, play around with, with different fonts and you know, uh, different treatments. And then the next slide is, this is the final uh, cover. Um, gray background and then you have that, um, that, that gold image and then they change the title to Philippine Ancestral Gold. So, so from that, that, that moment that you started working on a project, I mean, you don't come up with this final uh, look unless you go through that process of like really dumping all your ideas. I call it brain dumping. No? So I, I, I have all these different ideas and play around with it. And then finally, uh, you, you find the correct font or the proper font and then the proper color scheme and then that's it. So this is what you see now in the final print. And next. And it also happened in the book I designed for uh, Ortigas Foundation. It's called La Casa de Dios, no? So I was given photographs and the text. And um, so, so I did all these uh, different studies. Um, this, uh, this is eight of the 40 studies I did. So I just like racked my brain like overnight and, and play around with fonts and play around with, with with the various colors, color scheme, and all images and photographs. And then I found out when I was designing uh, what I did, like uh, because uh, Ortigas, uh, Ortigas Foundation has a library. And uh, I asked um, John Silva and Jonathan Best to show me uh, the different church uh, um, books about Philippine churches. So I, I noticed that 
all the books pertaining to the Filipino church, uh, all books about Philippine churches, is always they always show the facade of the church, and 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 every every uh, Philippine church book, lagging facade, no, yung harapan ng simbahan, yung yung image. So, uh, next please. So when I saw this book, uh, this photograph by Betty Lalana. I said it's a baptistry, and then I said, "The bad, the first sacrament that uh, that uh, the people, you know, basically uh, uh, what do you call this? Uh, basically, do is uh, parang it's it's baptism, no? So this is like your entry point to the church. Why don't we use the parang uh, baptistry?" As an entry point to the book, because it's like one of the the first seven sacraments of the Catholic Church, and then um, so and then of course, like I noticed that when Betty Lalana took the photograph, the cover, the cover, you know, uh, the uh, you know, if if you look at the 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 yung bap, baptistry, the the font, uh, what do you call this this thing? Merong takip na plywood, so <laughs> so we have to to digital. I mean, they they cannot go back to the church, no. So so uh, what we did uh, was to digitally remove the cover of of the plywood to make it really stand out. So next, so see here, if you go back to the previous slide, cats. May cover, di ba? So that's the cover. And then go go next. Wala nang cover. So we have to to imagine how it looks like with the with the light and shadow. So we actually got the sample here on top where La Casa de Jos is and put it here to make it look like it's not covered. So so these are like the you know like the details. That 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 you do when when designing a book, no? so so you have you really have to be o OC, no? Like ako talaga, I'm like I'm I'm OCD, no? When it comes to 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 this thing, so I I see the the you know the the smallest details, or I I could see the the small you know a uh, small speck or dust, you know. So so these are like the challenges that you have to to. To understand when you're designing a book, no? okay. Next, so for some strange reason, I've been, you know, uh, designing cookbooks, and 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 one of my my famous uh, uh, t-shirt that that my co-faculty member in PPC, PCC I gave me um, during our anniversary was uh, I cook books, no, so. So uh, for some uh, strange reason or some um, ordained by the universe or, or anything. So, you know, um, Anvil uh, was giving me all these cookbooks by, you know, to design. No? So these are like some of the, the books or food team books that I did. No? The Alba cookbook, uh, Larry Cruz, and then Stephanie Zubirisa cookbook, and... Um, and uh, Cooking Lessons by Bertram Waldes. Okay, next. So one of the, the uh, best uh, wonderful cookbooks I designed was uh, Culinaria. Because during that time, no, when you say Filipino food, what, what people do, like art directors would do, was to set up a, a tableau or a scenario where, where you have like palayok and... Uh, uh, bamboo, you know, uh, sandok with coconut, and then you have the tinalak placemat to show that it's Filipino. And what I did was, um, as a art director and uh, as book designer, let's do away with all those props and just shoot the food in um, by itself. Let's say, and then somebody said, "How how would they know if it's Filipino food?" Well. You would know sinigang from its ingredients. So, 
So this is like uh, seafood sinigang and uh, and a lot of people, you know, you don't need to have like extra props or extra, you know, palayok, uh, you know, you, you, typical, uh, you know, um, Filipino style, you know, uh, setting, but rather we use, um, uh, I think the food stylist here was Cloud Tayag, you know, my friend Cloud Tayag, and the photographers, uh, Nilo Shima. And what we did was uh, show a, you know, like the, 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 the intrinsic qualities of, of the ingredients, of, of, of Filipino ingredients. So, like, this is the beginning of how um, parang food photography and, and food styling came about, you no? Know, even before the, the millennials are shooting now, no, like in this late 2020. I think this was in, uh, we shot this in 2003 or 2004, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe, I don't know, because it was released in 2005, I think. No? So there, okay, next. And then 10 years later, I think, oh yeah, 2016, that's right, it's 2006 Culinaria. Yeah. And then in 2016, 10 years later, was asked again by um, this time by uh, my friend uh, Chef Tatung Sartu and uh, editor Nana Ozeta to design the the the, uh, the cookbook of, of Chef Tatung published by ABS-CBN Publishing, and it's called Philippine Cookery from Heart to Platter, and um, uh, the photographer and the food stylist. See, oh my God, I I should should have forgot their names. <laughs> Anyway, I'll be reminded, and um, and and I show I, I I was so fascinated the way they photograph, uh, <coughs> uh, uh, the way they photograph the the the, the food the the way uh, they styled it, and um, so because it's uh it's already nice no the the, the photographs are strong. So I have to choose a font that's uh, not too overbearing. So I chose a a German font, uh, a, a font from a, a particular German foundry. So it's very modern. I like the weight, and then I like the way it it, it renders on 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 uh, uh, reverse. Uh, it doesn't shout, and uh, you see that uh, bringhe, you know. Uh, it's still very, very elegant looking. And I think this is how we should present Filipino food. It should be elegant and not too much uh, Louis Swiss Kawayan or Barrio Fiesta School of Design. No? So, and then people will understand it more because, you know, the less element you have, the more information you can actually get, uh, uh, you can get from, from, from the cover. Okay, next. Then this is a um, uh, panaderia um, by Amy Uy and uh, and Jenny Aurelios. Uh, panaderia is a uh, uh, it's like a history of uh, Philippine bread, biscuit, and bakery tradition. No? So they they went all over the country to research on on Philippine breads. So so here, parang I wanted to show a a parang a box, no, a traditional box, na uh, semblance of like like some sort of like a Goldilocks type or a, um, what do you call this? Parang you know, um, parang bakery, no? Parang old style bakery, old school bakery, like Hisons, you know. So this is like what I wanted to parang convey in the design. And then at the same time, you have that uh, Manila paper, the yung back cover, parang pambalot ng pandisal, no? so. So, so there. Okay, next. Konti na lang, ha? Huwag kayo mabobore. <laughs> Simply Delicious. This is like the, uh, the, the golden, uh, parang 50 years of good food from, from Maya Kitchen. No? So, so you have all this like baking and, and, uh, and uh, you know, uh, baking and uh, cooking uh, products. Uh, I thought, you know, it was a, a very easy book to design, but it took us like two and a half years to finish this book because of damning elements. And at the same time, we have to show, you know, like, uh, like uh, 
um, like showing, you know, like uh, this is like a store bought a mango jubilee cake, uh, and and um, and and we really want to show, you know, like okay, it's Filipino, and then at the same time, it's Maya Kitchen. It's fifty years. It's a fifty-year-old uh, recipe. So, so you have to have that kind of uh, of messaging that you know people will understand when they see this particular book next and then this is a uh, another one no? this is a uh, uh, looks uh, it's a uh, it's a fundraising book for the women's board of saint luke's medical center so we invited all these uh, uh different chefs to contribute the recipes and uh since we have no budget for photography so I just bought a uh, stock photo and, and uh, bought this particular font and uh, put it all together again no? um, to make it like really ni nice and fresh and clean looking. And uh, so there, so parang, parang, um, parang, you know, uh, parang stock photo uh, website is your friend. You can actually negotiate with them if it's too expensive you can just tell them that uh, uh you're only printing 100 uh let's say uh 1000 copies of the book and they'll give you discount because you live in the philippines and it's only for distribution in the philippines so we we sort of like good got a good price uh with this particular image so good no so so uh if if you have a problem or if you have like uh, like a you know like a a, a a project that has a quick turnaround time, you can always go to you know all those uh, places where you can buy stock photo. And one thing for sure, uh, my advice: please just do not download things from the internet and use it for your commercial project because that's not really ethical. So it's either like you you really buy and pay for the license, including software, including the fonts that you use. Everything should be paid for. Okay. Next. And then this is another book, uh, another cookbook I did for the Congressional Spouses Foundation with Mons Romulo, and now Mayor Joy Belmonte. It's called Salo Salo, a celebration of Filipino cul uh, culinary treasures. And uh, this is like one of the first books that really featured the different cuisines of the Philippines. So, so it's a very, very important book. Kaya lang sayang, you know, um, it's so hard to, to have this book reprinted because of the, the various copyright owners. You know? But it's a very, very good uh, resource for if you're doing a research on traditional Filipino food. So, of course, one of the solutions that we have to 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 uh, to the book design is okay. So what what will be the cover? Should it be adobo? Should it be sinigang? Should it be kinilaw? So magaaway away yung contributor. So what we did was okay. Let's just feature different rice varieties. So we have like rice as the center centerpiece of the cover. Para walang away. <laughs> okay, next. And then this is the um, um, another. Um, if you notice, no, it's a square square book, no. So it's a uh, <coughs> aristocrat stories. It's the uh, I think it's the 80th uh, um, anniversary of aristocrat, 80 years of aristocrat in the Philippines. So they featured uh, different stories, and of course, the cover. Of course, like the poster, the poster boy, of, the poster boy of aristocrat is none other than the famous uh, barbecue chicken, the aristocrat barbe barbecue chicken, achara, and Java rice. So that's the cover, and then of course, like the the non-negotiable is the logo. And then you have like these uh, illustrations uh, uh, drawn by uh, Joey Herrera, Chef Joey. 
actually is my culinary teacher as well no so it's marketed to the balik bayans no because it's about uh, the nostalgia history of aristocrat or nostalgic history of aristocrat okay next of course this is my book <laughs> self promotion no republic of taste um, so basically i just wanted to show the different food flowers like like uh from um uh, ban uh pusin and saging and then there's a uh, katuray and then um uh, kalabasa flower and malunggay and you know so um so by 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 doing a, uh, by doing a particular placement of uh uh placement of, of of flowers you know you can actually show you know like uh convey a message of 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 happiness of beauty of lightness without being too hard sell no so i don't want the book to be hard sell about cavite because uh, um it's 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 more important to show the intrinsic quality of the food rather than you know like like the the business or uh, or the image of a cooked food no okay next and then these are like uh uh the two guidebooks i did for uh cloud tayag no cloud and marian tayag called linam nam this is like uh, uh eating one eating one's way around the philippines it's actually a guidebook with with a uh, para siyang michelin uh guidebook so you have all the, the 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 list of restaurants and carinderias and markets all over the country with a telephone number and i also did the technical editing of the book because it's a very very complicated book to 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 do let's say for instance we wanted to highlight uh, carinderia and then we wanted to highlight uh the different uh unknown you know like uh, uh unknown ingredients and it became an instant success for instagrammers because all these uh, all these uh, young people you know started buying the book and going you know around the country carrying this book uh written by cloud tayag who's been around no and uh, and then of course like in the back cover you have the picture of anthony bourdain because uh he played um like a, a really good you know vital role in uh promoting uh filipino food uh in america okay next okay now we're we're coming to the almost final part of uh the lecture this is like one of the fav uh, most uh endearing book to me no um, one of my favorite book design this is called the governor general's kitchen Philippine culinary vignettes and period recipes from 1521 to 1935, written by Feliz Santa Maria. No? So this book is uh, really influential uh, uh, for me. I, I read it from uh, the, the the raw manuscript. I read it uh, all 500 pages of it, and uh, I was really inspired and. It did not only inspire me to design something, but it inspired me to become a food writer as well. So uh, this book is, um, uh, as you can see, the color scheme is ube and leche flan. Ube on top, leche flan on the, underneath. And then you have parang a semblance of what if, like what if Jose Rizal did not die? So it's actually Jose Rizal in the picture, dining with his two sisters in manila hotel no in the, the the winter palace or the champagne room of of manila hotel so it's really an imagined thing no and of course like uh i did several studies of the book and and you know i, I don't want to bore you with the the pencil sketches and everything but um if you go to the next slide i'll reveal you something okay since um I couldn't, I, I was looking for a particular blocking or element, no? So what I have here is uh, 
uh, it's a print by uh, Georges Barbier. He's a famous uh, uh, French artist, illustrator. He did this print called La Gourmandise. And if you remember, Picasso has said, which I heard from Steve Jobs in one of his uh, events, no? Sabi ni Picasso daw, good artist copy and great artist steal. So to steal, it doesn't mean to plagiarize, but make the idea yours. And the difference between stealing, between copying and stealing is um, one is imitation and the other is inspiration. So imitation is basically laziness or refusal to accept your influences. But you have to recognize your inspiration, that the influence is with, uh, but with the, that this particular influence, you create something new. So if you look at the illustration, there's two French girls and a waiter and then uh, uh, a, a, a blonde guy sitting in a, re in a uh, Parisian restaurant being attended to by a waiter and then if you and i actually stole that idea from george barbier which was this uh, this particular print was done in 1928 i think no? and um of course like it's copyright free so if you go to the next slide so i did a composite um, let, let's say, uh, like first I, I did a, like a, a thumbnail illustration or no, a tracing wherein I devise uh, layers and layers of, of, of parang, uh, line drawing of how they are seated, basically copying the, the blocking. And then you have the different uh, gradients and then, you know, um and then you have the and then of course like i have to research also on the silhouette and the form how filipina dress was made uh between 1925 and 1935 so there's a lot of like research that went through this this uh design no? so next so side by side if you put them together so you can you can actually tell. So I I I I copied the column. I copied everything. You know, parang um, then copy the 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 only that was like really copied there was the tablecloth. I didn't change the tablecloth, but I didn't show the foot of Rizal. And then if you if you look at the um, the illustration. Um, um, the, the lady is holding a fan. Uh, there's no more wine bucket where the champagne is uh, placed. And then you have like Filipinas in a very shy, then their color actually changes. The, 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 the skin tone and then the, the kanyamaso and then the, the way the, the, the dress f uh, fell. And then of course, like Jose Rizal wearing a tux, uh, smoking a cigar. And then attended by a by a darker toned waiter, so that's what I stole. And that um, fortunately, the the book actually was nominated in the Gourmet uh, uh, the Gourmet World Cookbook Award. It won uh, in the best history, and it was nominated for best design. And this is like the second book I won for best design. So it's a uh, very very important, you know, like. To, to understand like where, you know, especially if you're doing a period book, uh, you have to borrow certain elements from, from, from certain, uh, uh, from certain uh, periods of, of, of world art, no, not just like Philippine art, but, but uh, you know, like uh, world art history. No? So uh, it's very, very important to, to understand the, the different, uh, visual vocabulary and I think you have to to build up that visual vocabulary by by reading books on art history world art history Filipino art history uh, watching films and then um, and 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 watching uh, all sorts of of, of uh, inspiration no? 
not just like your regular comedies or or drama, but uh, but uh, but uh, historical documentaries. So so there. Uh, next slide, please. So uh, this is the actually the last slide, and it actually reflects the cover also of the book. And I use this particular image as the end paper for the hardbound edition. And um, if you don't know what this is, this is basically um, a pastillas wrapper, a paper cutout, a traditional Filipino cutout part uh, of a pastillas wrapper. Scan them, retrace them, and then recolor them on uh, Illustrator and exported to um, Photoshop and InDesign. So on that note, this is like the last slide. Thank you very much for listening. And um, if you have questions, uh, I think we went over time. <laughs> Thank you. So there. Oh. Here, sir, uh, Ige. So just uh, let me just read through a, a couple of them. But me personally, I, I never could have even imagine that one person was responsible for all these book designs. Sir, hindi, hindi ko nakita yung ano ah, yung parang merong distinct look or feel. Normally, you know, graphic designers, you, you, you'll know that it's actually their work. Kasi alam mong mm -hmm. kita kita mo. But instead, what I've been seeing across all the uh, the the books that you've designed, talagang it really features what the content is, rather than having a very you know I wouldn't really say standard look, pero merong certain you know um uniqueness across all. No, so how how did you really come come across or come out na very diverse po sila? You see, like um, you know, yung parang the, the the difference between an artist, a painter, and a designer. Yung painter kasi meron siyang particular style that he always mm -hmm. work mm -hmm. on. But yeah. uh, a graphic designer, I think you have to be more open, and less uh, you you cannot really uh, uh, parang uh, satisfy your ego by. Uh -uh by uh satisfy your ego by by imposing your own design mm, style like mm, like for okay. instance I, I i i i have a particular design style which uh um you know like i mean i can see it's there but at the end of the day i i sort of uh remove all those trappings right. and okay i don't i mean i'm designing this not for myself Okay. But I'm designing this for the readers, Yo. so it's not it's not really about me. Okay. So, kung 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 sa pelikula, parang ang interpretation ng acting mo para kang si Meryl Streep. Mm -mm. You don't, you don't, you you you. It, parang the difference between let's say Meryl Streep and Fernando Po Jr. <laughs> si Fernando Po, you know Fernando Po. Yung acting style niya, all throughout, Fernando po siya. Right. Pero si Mel Streep, she can be uh, Sophie's Choice, she can be the French Lieutenant's Woman, she can be uh, the Devil Wears Prada, she can be Margaret Thatcher. She, you can, like, as a designer, you put on another persona and then you don't impose your persona, your personal preferences. Let's say I don't impose my my personal choice of colors, I don't impose my personal choice of fonts, or you. Meron na kong kilalang designer, but ang laging ginagamit niya Helvetica lang, no? Because 
ano siya purist, no? I mean, this is like a like a, a European designer. And and when you see the style, I mean, it's it's very good because uh, he's known for that particular style. So big companies uh, like Nike or or Uniqlo would hire this particular designer because nga, of that particular style that fits their market. But right. but for my my for, for but for me, uh, unfortunately, we live in the Philippines and and there's no much like. Siguro if I live abroad, ang yaman yaman ko na no. <laughs> <laughs> but but here I do a lot of like pro bono and like educating people and educating clients and publishers how to come up with uh, book design. In fact, the rates that I get paid to this day, mm-hmm. still like the rates that I got paid like. You know, like if it's like uh, in publishing companies would pay me the same mm-hmm. rate like as 10, 10 years ago. Mm-hmm. Because nga, parang, ano eh, parang you cannot like really sell a particular book if, if, if it goes overpriced, if right. you pay the designer so much. Mm-hmm. So, ang ano na lang is give me enough projects to survive. <laughs> you know, no? yeah. So, it's very, very interesting how, you know, like the, the dynamics of, you know, don't let business be an obstacle for your design development or your, or, or your creativity. Yeah, I think yun yung struggle madalas ng creatives, no? The business oh, side yeah. and the creative oh, side. I mean, at the end of the day, like people can see if, if the design is really tamad or uh, it, it, or minadale because yeah. um, you know uh, let's say I mean can you imagine like getting paid for a book design and then after two years or three years you're still working on it yeah yeah I mean, yes, yes. <laughs> yes so so it's really like that I mean it's hard it's not like video or film that mm-hmm. you can actually splice or edit at your whim because yeah. once the book is printed it's printed you cannot change it Wow, very powerful. Once it's printed, you cannot change it. And Jana, no. it's out. Anjana, the, uh, it's out. It's there's out. a record of it already. Yeah. Right. We have some uh, uh, very good questions here, no? Siguro I'll start with um medyo sa technical side, okay? Mm. So, uh Savior is asking uh wait, hang on. Eh? So, sabi ni Savior, um what graphic design software uh, do you use in designing books? And my personal question naman is, if I want to become a book designer, do I? is it necessary that I know uh, some software uh, for to design books? Yeah. So okay. dun muna sa, what, what software do you use? Okay. Uh, I, I've, been, uh, um, I've been an Adobe uh, uh, user for, for more than... 25 years since yeah. started. So uh, I started with PageMaker, but now I'm using uh, InDesign. Wow. <laughs> PageMaker. Flashback PageMaker. <laughs> PageMaker Illustrator. Um, so I, I use um, uh, one of the very first, uh, you know. Anyway, uh, what I use now is InDesign uh, because InDesign, I, I use Quark Express before Quark, but uh, it, it's not supported. Uh, locally, mm-hmm. so it's hard. So I use uh, page make, uh, no page maker to learn. I use um, uh, InDesign, InDesign. Uh, for the longest time, no, from from version one to to CC, no, and right. uh, because it can do it can do an encyclopedia, mm-hmm. you know, because uh, it's a multiple page, so you don't lay out your book using Illustrator. Better. You do your layout in uh, in uh, uh, in design, mm-hmm. and then uh, you do, and then of course you export everything on. Technically speaking, in design, because mm-hmm. it's seamless in integration with with yeah. Adobe uh, products. Right. Uh, sim- yung, yung PDF, no? When you produce PDF, yes. you know? Actually, PDF uh, it's an open ano, no? but uh, you can actually. Uh, save your your file as a postscript and give mm-hmm. it to the press, and then mm-hmm. the press can actually convert it for you. But you don't. Uh, minsan yung postscript kasi hindi makikita yung images, so you'd rather okay. give them a distilled uh, uh, 
uh, in design. But yeah. at the end of the day, it's not really about the software. It's mm -hmm. how you use it. You can actually use different medium, like you can do a collage, you can do a, no, and then you, you can just photograph that particular mm -hmm. collage. Because I like, I like doing a lot of montage. If I would have time for clients, I would stage a cover, a book cover. Mm -hmm. Let's say, uh, like, uh, let's say if it's a cookbook, uh, there's mm. like a, uh, yung, yung, yung proper staging talaga, like what we did for uh, Sans Rival magazine. Siguro, oh. we can do magazine covers next time, no? Like, ah, like, that's it, yeah. Like, uh, like a step by step, no? Like, like how yeah. you save time and, and, and creativity at the same time, no? Without uh -huh. getting, no, no. So, it's important to have. That software, no? that, uh, yeah. that in design. Now, I I mean, I have no choice, but I have to subscribe to uh, because before, when I used to teach mm -hmm. um, uh, publication design at uh, mm -hmm. PCCI, we have a free software. Mm -hmm. uh, PCCI would give us free software because we yeah. we use their software for teaching, no? Yes. But now, of course, like I'm not, I'm not teaching anymore. I actually subscribe to. Um, Adobe, Adobe uh, Creative Cloud. Which yeah, is actually, very good, and it's yes. it's worth. It's really worth it, especially yeah. if you're working on 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 a multiple project. Because yeah. I I have uh uh you know no? like uh Illustrator, mm -hmm. there's Photoshop, there's Lightroom, and then there's yeah. fonts. And then now I discovered you you don't have to buy fonts because they can. You can actually, it's part of your subscription mm -hmm. and you can use uh, Adobe fonts and you can like package everything, you know. So right. it's a very, very, um, you know, you know, so I think I answered Good. the question. Okay. Uh, we have another question. If I remember correctly, uh, username The Unplanned, Unplanned Life is also Mary Ann Molly. Yeah, that. yeah. Okay, Molly. So She's asking, is minimalism one book design just another passing trend? Are they really trends in book design? Or do designers base their design purely on the content disregarding design trends? Yeah. Yeah. Um for one, um, I don't really believe in design trends. I don't. Mm -hmm. I mean, I I read about it, and then you know, like especially in the U.S., they come up with the color of the year, uh, mm -hmm. ICA, International Color uh, uh, Association. Then mm -hmm. you have people like Pantone, and then mm -hmm. of course, like because they're they're actually uh, creating a market, no, and then uh, some some uh, trade magazines would come up with. Uh, latest trends in design. Uh, I mean, okay, I read it, I follow it, but I don't really uh, include it in my repertoire if I'm designing mm -hmm. something because our market is very, very much different from the market in Europe and in America. Mm -hmm. Like, let's say, for instance, uh, uh, of course, like uh, uh, the Filipino market now is susceptible to anything that's Korean or Korean design. Because yeah. of the 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 uh, the K drama, the you know BTS, the influence of pop culture, but at the mm -hmm. end of the day, uh, it's no longer about uh, when when you design something, uh, mm -hmm. you don't want your product or your book to look like it's part of a Korean drama or a Korean pop, mm -hmm. and so so to answer the question of 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 uh, Mary Ann, you minimalism book. It it really depends on how you 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 use it, like mm -hmm. like for instance, if you are like like Filipino pa, no? like Filipinos are are known for having this this idea called horror vacui or fear of empty space, no? Okay. We we would like that's my problem with some clients. Like, what's this white space? Sayang yung real estate space, but hindi mo puno inya ng elements or yes. or lagyan mo ng text yan. So sabi ko. Ang tawag ho dyan, breathing space. Dapat naroon pahinga. Mm -hmm. No? Parang music. Yeah. If you don't have yes. like a, a rest in music, yes. you cannot really appreciate the impact of the first note. True, true, so, true. So, so, ganun din yung paggamit ng minimalism. Like sometimes we, uh, like I, I see it in young designers. Oh, I'm going to mm -hmm. do a minimalist design because I'm so anti-Filipino design. Napunong-puno, mm -hmm. ang busy-busy. 
Pero ano yung na-achieve mo? Okay, nag nagsuplada ka, nag nagpaka Japanese Scandinavian ka. Pero ano yung na-achieve mo na benta ba yung libro, na appreciate ba yung work mo? Cuz uh, at the end of the day, your your book or or your 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 book will be judged not by how you do it, but mm-hmm. how the people will accept it. Yeah, okay. You no. Know? So so at the end of the day, I have no right to say that this book will become a bestseller. Yeah. But I have in my power to make this book as a bestseller because I understand the market. It's yeah. really understanding the readership. It's okay. really understanding your audience. So it's not just the content. You have to understand tama no, readership. <laughs> Sino magbabasa oh. niyan? Yung so, more content, right? And then at the same time, when you talk about the readership, you don't just like talk about the lowest common denominator. Mm-hmm. You don't dumb down your your design because you want to reach a particular target uh, market. Yeah. But rather, elevate the their taste to something. Yes, yes, Give them yes. something new. Respect their, you know, I mean, respect their their preferences. But at the same time, give them something new. Yeah. Give them something that that they will parang parang uh, parang parang merong added value to their life let's yeah. say for instance if they see a particular book makakadagdag ba to sa ano ko sa personality ko right. like kung 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 binuhat ko pa to kung bitbit ko pa tong ano kung bibitbitin ko tong book na to as a fashion accessory Mm-hmm. mapapansin well, ba ako ng crush ko? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> diba? Yeah. Parang, parang ganun, no? So, mm-hmm. so it's really, it's it's not really about trends, it's not really about mm-hmm. um, just uh, the content, but but mm-hmm. the whole holistic activity of what design is all about. about okay, good. I'll jump back to um, a parang technical side ulit, ha? So, Mitch Gamo is asking, do you also use Affinity, Canva, and other apps? So, apart okay. from Adobe programs. Yeah, um, I, 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 let's say, for instance, because um, um, Adobe is a bit expensive, no? I mean, major mm-hmm. prohibitive yung price. I would, mm-hmm. uh, I would um, recommend to use uh, Affinity and Canva mm-hmm. to, your, to do your design because they, they offer like templates. You can actually study the templates. Because so, so sometimes uh, what I do is I go to the Canva website or the Affinity website mm-hmm. and uh, I try to study their templates and then I try to study what's the, okay. Uh, because, uh, you know, sometimes templates and, and you know, parang it's so generic. Mm-hmm. You really have to add something to it. To make it yours, yes. Like yeah. like, okay. like 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 that design that I stole from George Barbier. <laughs> one know? is imitation, one is inspiration. Sabi yeah. Mo so yeah. You, you don't just imitate, okay? Right. Um, so what you you can do, Mitch, is like try to study, like try to go to web uh, websites that feature like fonts, no, like my fonts. Mm-hmm. And and try to study like why this works, and then mm. they have all these like uh, parang parang sample uh, parang how to use this particular font, and they make it sh- they make it in, in such a way that you want to click and buy those fonts. Because nga ang ganda ng pagkakagamit, no? Right. Right. So okay. it's it's very very important to to understand, because isang element talaga nung, ano, nung uh, book design is how you handle fonts. And I see a lot of people um, uh, parang they just like use fonts arbitrarily without mm-hmm. without studying the history, where it comes from, who invented mm-hmm. it, who designed it. No? Yeah. Ngayon, like matutuwa ka, like uh, on Facebook, I have friends like from, ano, like see si Aaron Amar, he's a, he's a font designer, he's a Filipino mm-hmm. font designer. And his fonts are fantastic. And in fact, I use a lot of his fonts now mm-hmm. for some of my projects. Uh, ah. uh, like uh, the pro- like my, my book, yung hindi ko lang uh, pinakita, yung, yung Lasa ng Republika. And mm-hmm. it's, it's a font designed by a Filipino. 
And then yeah. some of the fonts that you saw in my books are actually mm -hmm. made by South American, from South American Foundry. Uh, these are like mm -hmm. South American designers, font yeah. designers. And they lend the fonts parang very well to Filipiniana uh, books because we have a shared uh, Hispanic influences. Yeah, okay, good. Uh, I'm gonna choose questions, okay? We're, we have uh, about 20 minutes left, okay? So this one is a two-part uh, comment. Eh. So si Rick uh, Juntarciego, the first part of his question is, in one of the published books you presented, you mentioned that you only showed us eight of the 40 studies you presented. So first part question is, how did you end up doing 40 studies? And then the second part is, is it your decision you're not contented of the designs that you did or makulit ba yung client and ask for lots of studies? Wala bang limit sa number of options when you present design studies? Okay, so for your, your first question, um, like when, when I did four stu 40 studies, basically I just like uh, have the elements on hand on my on folders and then with the fonts. And then I shortlist the fonts that I will use and then shortlist the color schemes that I use and then play around with it. So, so you have like 40 studies I, and I call it uh, uh, brain dumping. So I just like dump everything in my brain mm. you know, because I, I, if it's just in your brain, it will just percolate and then it will go away. Nice. It, True. Because it's like okay. writing it. If you don't write the yes. idea down, you will forget it's it. It's gone. Right. It's gone forever. Right. So yes. what I do, okay, I'm, I'm consciously uh, um, bringing my unconscious mind, mm -hmm. thinking about the design, and, and hand coordination on my computer, my laptop with my head, and I was able to come up with the 40 designs. And then from that 40 designs, I shortlist, I get five, I keep the rest, mm -hmm. I choose five, and then improve on it, and then don't overwrite the 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 the, the file because you yeah. want to go back. Yes. Do not destroy it, and then you choose three, and then you choose three the best ones that you think, mm -hmm. and then you get two wild card, mm -hmm. the two that you don't like, the two mm -hmm. that you hate most, okay. the two that you don't like, the two that you know like parang ano parang pambala. Uh -uh. So, so you have like five studies to present, mm. and then you 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 what you do is you show first the two studies that you don't like, mm -hmm. and the low and and one that you really like from the three, mm -hmm. and then if they're not satisfied, sh show the rest, so yeah. the five, and then they yeah. will have an idea what they will choose. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, like because of that, you have that kind of uh, parang you, you already spoke to the client, you have meetings already, endless meetings, endless useless meetings. Mm -hmm. And you have all these, like, like, uh, parang uh, ano ba talaga yung gusto nila. So, ako, inuunahan ko na yung, kinukulit ko na yung sarili ko bago ko kulitin nung mm -hmm. kliyente. Yeah. So, like, like I, I'm, I'm so obsessive about about doing the design, and then so the number of options there it's like three to five studies, and then the rest, yeah. it's in my arsenal, it's my in my portfolio, and then it's also, also like, uh, like when you're doing a design problem, like I have that that design file somewhere, which I mm -hmm. did in 1996. Ano nga ba Baka I can use that particular design for this project. Because yes. imagine I'm a mental block. Mm -hmm. so, At least you have that, yeah. So you have that kind of ano, parang like a jumping board. Parang, uh, mm -hmm. Like a jumping board where you can actually start. No? Uh, yeah. Yeah, no? So, so yeah, uh, that I think, I, think uh, I, I hope I satisfied your, your question, Rick. That's it. Sige. So, uh, I'll read out two more uh, questions, okay? So, uh, The Unplanned Life says, how long does it take you to design the first cover study? 
one hour. One hour, wow. Yeah. yeah. One hour, like, like, because you already have an idea. But then again, yes. and then the next, like, the next three hours is just like, mm. again, brain dumping. And yeah. then, uh, and then uh, you forget all about your first cover study and then you design mm. other things. And then over the yeah. course of the project, in fact, the best cover design I did for a project was like when the book is already finished, when yes. I un when the book is already like ready to go to the press. Yes. And that's the best time to design the cover. I noticed, no? Uh, and then, um, dun, dun palang talaga lumalabas yung ano, yung parang, uh, it's the distillation of all the concept. Yeah. No? Okay. So, so, so minsan like that that cover that you saw earlier on the gold book the golden mm -hmm. ancestors mm -hmm. i mean that's like under an hour yeah i mean you just like sit there like okay there. play around uh -huh. i mean all the text is yeah. there and then okay uh -huh. let's let's put some gradient or put uh put some drop shadow put some uh, yeah. or make it back make this background or what if like but it's nothing you know like it doesn't yeah. work Mm. But after, may, yeah. May, so, may follow-up pala si Unplanned Life. So sabi niya, you said you don't impose your own preferences on a book design. How do you handle clients who have very bad taste that they actually endanger the success of the book design? Well, I, if, uh, I'm, I'm quite lucky because I don't have clients with bad taste. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, good. But, uh, but um, you know, but I, but I, what, what, you know, um, I, I'm just, I'm just lucky that, uh, mm -mm. um, I, um, I, although I have a habit of firing clients, oh, because um, you know, and 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 not not really, um, getting their money and and and. Uh, Parang gano. <laughs> no, no, no that's, that, that's bad. That's bad. That, that's no a race. No, no. But I'm saying I'm I'm just lucky that uh, my my clients listen to me, mm -hmm. and the reason why, um, parang parang if you go to like let's say if you have some design problem, it's like having a health mm -hmm. problem. You go to a specialist. Yes. So yes, if they have yes. a design problem, they they go to me. They have a book design problem. Mm -hmm. What do we do? How do we solve it? It's like yeah. coming to a doctor yeah. and then okay i can recommend you this i can recommend yeah. that and this is the price for this this is the price for that yeah. uh, this is how long it will take my impression is that you you uh become invested in whatever book you're working on Baka that's why you're, you fire clients because for you it's it's about the book and the readers parang ganun, yeah. Eh, yeah okay and then, uh, yeah. Hindi pa naman nangyari na nag-fire ako ng client. That's a joke. Ah, okay. okay. I'm just good, lucky good. that I have like, clients who have good taste. Yeah. And this last question, I think it's very important for all creatives. No? Uh, Son says, how do you motivate yourself po para magkaroon ng mga brilliant ideas uh, that will come to life? Okay. Um, um, seriously, uh, look at your bank balance. And look at your, <laughs> your credit card payables. <laughs> I think that's, that's enough motivation. motivation. <laughs> it's enough True. motivation for you to get out of bed and, and, and decide. Because you know, you know, um I'm not cut to do some anything else, you know. I I, mm. I, I studied, you know, I, I'm I'm also a food writer. I studied, mm. you know, uh, culinary arts, but I don't want to run a restaurant. I'm too yeah. too tired to 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 become a cook, or mm -hmm. I'm too 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 tired. I mean, to to it needs to become like a full time writer. Yes. So the only thing I can do well really is book design, and 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 uh, no matter what, you know, I wake up in the morning, and mm -hmm. you know, like now, like we have like very few clients, so I'm thinking of ways now of like designing. Or, or publishing the books that I really care about. Yeah. So that that actually motivates me. And then, 
I mean, you really have to be honest to yourself. Eh? Like, uh, what what really motivates you? If it's just money, okay. I mean, it's easy to make money. You can like borrow money or make utang. But mm-hmm. what really motivates you in terms of like uh, fulfilling your life as a as a person? So mm-hmm. as a creative, as a book designer, I mean, I'll be continuing. Like, I'm I've invested in this craft for for such a long time, mm-hmm. and I think. Um, I'm motivated enough to wake up in in the morning and to mm-hmm. read to read all this manuscript. I mean, it's I mean, book design is like writing. Um, mm-hmm. You don't really have an audience. There's no inst- There's not an instant audience. Only after mm-hmm. a year or so. Yes. So it's not oh, like in- so it's not like Instagram or YouTube that you yeah. get the instant yeah. gratification. So ang tagal nung ano, ang tagal nung ano nung uh, nung yung emotional investment tsaka mm. yung uh, temporal investment medyo matagal. May suspense nga, no, parang oh, ano, tagal mo magaantay. You, you you really have to work on something. Like now I'm doing uh, I've been working on this book no of uh, Maria Y. Orosa. Mm. Um, the book I'm publishing for for the Orosa estate. And mm. it's it's take me a long time, like it's been a year, and, and mm. we should be going to the press already. But yeah. I'm still tweaking, working on it, and and looking at the design, and mm. not, and and you know, and and this is like what what I live for, like mm. I I breathe and and live book design and eat, yeah, okay. and eat, no, so and- so so. It's 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 a very solitary, quiet life. You have to have yes. like a strong constitution because it can be very very sad. Yeah. So you, it's you a have, way of life, no? Yeah. So I, I mean, well, well, like even before the pandemic, if I have to to work on a book project, like I would lock mm. myself for like weeks yes. without any social wow. life. Wow. Because it means, something I need, yeah. Go it ahead. needs your attention. Eh? It needs your attention. Yeah. It's a sad. It's a sad life. But if if you can understand your your sadness mm-hmm. and and able to 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 understand, you know, like wala kang party, wala kang gimmick, and everything, and you 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 wake up, and then at the end of the day, you're so tired, and you don't understand why, mm-hmm. because you just okay. process. <coughs> 35 pages of manuscript and illustrating yeah. them. Yeah. Nakakapagod like what, yun. Uh, one of our viewers and also our, one of our alumni, si Xavier, sabi niya, parang method actress. No? You're really invested. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It, it's really, met, it's like method acting. Like you choose the yeah. correct elements to, to really uh, show it properly. Right. Okay. Well, I think um, everybody enjoyed uh, this webinar. I personally learned a lot. I'm a photographer, pero because I think when you're a creative, uh, when you're in the creative uh, side, no, para talagang all these things, yung details, and then yung creative process is very important. So I'm really uh, I, I learned a lot from this webinar. Editha Singian says, "Bravo, ige interesting idea." Sabi niya. Thank you, uh, Yeah, and then. Uh, somebody mentioned also about you being a great boss kanina, no? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, okay. food, food thoughts yung user, username niya. Eh. Okay. And then, uh, The Unplanned Life says, Sans Rival has the best magazine design uh, ever. Wow, favorite. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. And then, sabi rin niya, in all the... Uh, the years I've known you, you're always so chill. I agree. Do you ever lose your temper or composure? Ah, <laughs> <Siempre. laughs> uh, Okay. And then, um, Marvi Santos says, "I enjoyed and learned a lot. Congratulations, Sir Ige, from your TNT family." Oh, okay. hello. Yeah, and uh, Mitch Gama says, thank you for all the wisdom shared. You got this. Good vibes. Wow, okay. thank you. So, 
uh, I think this calls for a part two. Sabi mo nga, maybe we can do uh, something about uh, magazine, uh, designing magazine covers, or maybe just a Q&A, no? Pure Q&A. Uh, yeah. yeah. Tapos, can ano. Like uh, show 10, 10 magazine covers or 10 book covers. And then yeah. Q&A. And then we'll spend I, I more time. Something like, I designed something like like 300 something books already. Wow. And then yeah. some some of the books actually mm-hmm. because of Andoy, remember diba? we had Andoy. Yes, yes. Um, um I donated a few of them like the major designs to Filipinas Heritage Library of Ayala Museum. Yeah. So the, wow. the so the book collection that I have, which I designed, is actually in Ayala Museum, in the Filipinas Heritage Library. I hope it's still there, but, you know. Uh, it's probably still there. Anyway, I wish we had more time. Uh, let's have... Oh, may pahabol. Vernie Lopez says, Pabalat na sadyang pupukaw sa iyo para basahin ang nilalaman. Dila at bandila ni Sir Ige. Wow. Thank you, Bernie. Very nice. Bernie. All right. So once again, thank you very much to everyone uh, who tuned in and uh, learned a lot from uh, our webinar tonight from Sir Ige. Please follow uh, Sir Ige Ramos. Uh, we are showing his handle here uh, right now. No? Also, uh, please don't forget to visit uh, our website uh, to see all the list of classes that we're currently offering Um uh, online, okay. So it's a live virtual class, and then hopefully Sir Ige can also join us sa mga live virtual classes. Now maybe soon, 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 uh, soon. Busy pa, uh, busy pa I, I, I have to prepare. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So at, at least kasi two weeks dapat yung preparation for soon. this short talk. After. Yeah. True. True. Lalo yeah. pagka class mas matagal pa, no? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay, so once again, thank you very much. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, uh, please like our Facebook page, uh, PCCI Training. Um, and don't forget to visit our website. Follow Sir Ige. And I hope everyone uh, stays healthy and you continue learning, uh, especially for all the creatives out there. Uh, now is your time to shine. All right. So thank you very much and good evening. Thank you, Sir Ige. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you, everybody. Bye.